you like my hat, by the way? This is my dragon mask that I've created. Uh, I created this for a project that I've just done, and that's what this film is really about. It's not really a tutorial. It's not really a making of. It's just a story, really, about what I've been doing during August. Um, sometimes... Oh, hold on a minute. Let's take that. Oh. That's better, isn't it? Sometimes a project comes your way that's really good fun, really exciting, and something that really captures your imagination. And I was really lucky because back in October, an organisation called Historic Royal Palaces got in touch. Um, Historic Royal Palaces, they are responsible for lots of royal sites like Kensington Palace, Hampton Court Palace and Kew Palace. And Kew Palace sits in the middle of Kew Gardens and they've just recently restored one of their other sites in Kew Gardens, which is the Pagoda. It's been under wraps for quite a while now, but it's recently been restored, it's uncovered, it looks great. And on the outside are 80 newly restored dragons. And there was a project with Blue Peter, and there's been a project with children designing a dragon trail. And this project was designed to complement that. So I was asked if I could come up with a family project that would last for seven days, that was both collaborative and ambitious, but also really simple and something that families on their long day in Kew Gardens, walking around, seeing the sights, enjoying themselves, could sit down, grab an art activity, take part, and go away feeling really relaxed, but excited and happy. I think really when it comes to projects with the public, you've got to have two people in mind, the children or the young people, but also the parents. It's nice from both to have a takeaway. So I really had to come up with an idea that was something that the children would leave with something that was theirs that they created, but also that the parents would get a snap or get some memories or some photo opportunity for their children to be embarrassed about when they're older. So one of the things I did was to create this dragon mask, um, which is really, really great fun to make, but also really simple. Um, so, well, I'm gonna show you now. So this is how it works. You design a simple dragon shape. This is going to be the face. There we've got the mouth. And then you do the mirror opposite on the other side. See, this is super rough. You do the mirror opposite on the other side. So that you've got the fold here and you've got these tabs here. And that's what's gonna attach it to the headband of the mask. And it's gonna fold along this bit, which is the end of the nose so that it's one piece for both sides of the face. You'd also include some wings in there. And these are all going to be printed professionally and die cut. And that basically means that you can pop them out really easily. They've already been cut up with tiny little notches so that you can just pull them straight out, okay? So this was the initial idea. It was really good fun to see children wearing these all around Kew Gardens. It was even better when my friend Rachel got in touch with a text message to tell me that she saw loads of children walk around Wimbledon High Street wearing the dragon masks. That's really, really nice to hear. Um, and it was really good fun. Um, and the other thing that I had to think about was something that was collaborative and something that was big and exciting and something we could use for social media that would be made with myself and the public. Uh, and so Historic Royal Palaces and I decided to make a giant cardboard dragon that would be decorated by the public using coloured card that they could then draw on or write messages on, maybe write a poem, just do anything they wanted really, but it would be attached onto the cardboard dragon and over the seven days, this dragon would become colorful. Um, and so really this video is about that. So the next bit of the video is really just, well, 
just watch it, you'll see. So really this video is more of a sort of celebration of what I've done and what we created together. And if you helped me make this dragon, then thank you very much. It was great to meet you. I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, enjoy this bit. All right.
enjoyed the video, then please make sure you subscribe and click that bell so that you get email notifications every time I load up a new one. Why is that important? Well, it's important because I'm going to be loading lots of new videos very soon with instructions and tutorials about how to have really high-end, fantastic art sessions at home or in the classroom that are cheap, that are easy, there's gonna be no stress involved, but it will give you big results that will make your life as a parent or as a teacher much easier. Okay, so if you do like this video, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you soon. All right?